there and there. there. Woo! I gotta remember which one it is. Oh, it's not that one. <laughs> it's that one. Uh. Feel it. Ryan. <laughs> there it is, man. You said you wanted that as a theme song. We're doing it. I like it as a theme song. I, I like it too. And as long as I keep pretending that those things that I add are part of the deal, then I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> Welcome to the launch, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening. It's the uh, tenth episode. Happy tenth episode. Happy tenth episode, and it's and and we got exciting news. We do. Was that a question? Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was a half question, half uh, would do. Would, would, would do. <laughs> I'm sure we do. Just tell me which one. What's the news? Uh, the, you know, the, there's artwork. Oh, what we talked about last week. Yeah. What no, but we saw it. I've seen it in my in my. Yeah. We seem still like you're questioning this. <laughs> you're the one that sent it to me. <laughs> what did What did we do? <laughs> Remember, you sent me proofs and uh, talked about. Oh yeah. Uh, that. No, yeah. <laughs> Font we talked about. We got logos working on almost finished the logo. It's awesome. Yeah. Do and you like the design? I like it a lot. Okay, cool. And I like the font that we chose. You know, yeah. we had a good reason for it. Is that the one we're going with? I haven't given like the official thumbs up. Okay. Yeah, we agreed on we agreed on one. Yeah. At least two that we really liked. Yeah. So the color. We Co- decided on the color. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I think that we get that and then I Throw this bad boy on anchor, and the people on the newsletter have been listening for. They'll be way Ten behind. Episodes. Yeah, they'll be way behind, my man. Although I'm wonder, I'm wondering if we don't just have two versions. Do I keep sending the new to them and archive the old, or do we just drop ten episodes at once? Oh, but then people think we're that fast. Mm-hmm. We're not. Or we're, we just say, yeah, we released this ten weeks ago. Where were you? Yeah, <laughs> little interest. Hey, why didn't you? Uh, I don't want to guilt anybody, but it'll be a lot easier, I think, to get people to listen to the Mm -hmm. podcast when it's actually on the streaming services and those things. Yeah. So that's exciting. I'm very excited for that. And I'm very grateful for for Tessa. Did you almost forget her name? No, I I had a tongue tie thing. That's Uh, that's your that's your brother's lady friend. mm -hmm. Special lady friend. Yep. From Missoula. It's pretty exciting. I'm very excited. And so how are they doing? They're doing great. Yeah. They're doing really good over there. For living in Missoula. For living in Missoula? Yeah. It's got to be tough. It's expensive it's over it's there. very expensive. Missoula's beautiful to visit. It's really pretty. Yeah. Lots of good food. Lots of things to do. Yep. But I keep hearing how expensive it is. I'm like, mm, I'm okay. I'm thinking it got a little more expensive during the uh, pandemic, too. I think so, too. Yeah. Some uh, some people moving in. Right. And, you know, we've always hated that. Cobbling up. You know, we want to yell at other states for their bull crap. But uh, housing market definitely, it's ta- I mean, here, it's it's gone way out of, way out of league. It has been crazy. I think we have may have talked about it before, but doing realtor videos for mm. realtors, it's been, um, I'll, I'll submit the video the, nec- the next day and the house is already sold. After I do walk oh, in. Oh, I videos. haven't heard. I have not heard oh, much yeah, about I that. Oh, yeah. I did um, did one, I think, last fall or last summer. And I went and shot the drone video and the video walkthrough at about 2 p.m. And then I think about 10 a.m. the next day, I had delivered the, the final copy. Yeah. And I went to go pick up the check from the physical location. And as I was walking in, this couple walked out and opened the door for me and I, you know, said hi, whatever, and walked out. <laughs> being polite. <laughs> but yeah, being, being polite. And then I walked in to get the to grab the check from the realtor and she said that that couple just sold the I just bought the house that I had for the video for the that video I was I had just use. done. And I'm like, oh okay. Crazy. Hard to be mad. No, I'm not mad. Not like, you, but oh, you know, for, the, oh for them, yeah. It's an expense. Mm-hmm. A quick yeah. turnaround. So I'm wondering if that's gonna hurt hurt your uh math. Yeah uh We've had to pivot to going from video walkthroughs to um, doing realtor bios, kind of. So mm-hmm. doing like um, advertisements for specific realtors and not necessarily the property that yeah. they're selling, but like commercials for 
uh, individuals. What if you could offer same night delivery on a walkthrough? I try. Just because you think it would behoove them that they would, if there's multiple, if there's places where there's multiple offers, mm-hmm. like our friend Kristen who went to Florida, she's had to bid on 15, 20 houses before she got one. So if that video is out there attached to this for people that can't go anyway, mm-hmm. wouldn't that drive value up? I think so. I feel like the bidding wars so. would be. It is insane. A friend of ours, his parents just um, sold their house. I think, I mean, it got into a crazy bidding war, and they got way, way more than they were asking. Was that here? Uh, Helena. Helena. Yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. And uh, they had priced the house a little bit above what they actually paid for it. Sure. And then they got significantly more for that. So, I mean, it's just. It's crazy. I don't I don't. It's the Wild know, West. I don't even. They didn't. They definitely didn't do a video walkthrough. Right. And I think it's, things are just crazy right now with the pandemic that. Doesn't matter. If you got the money, you're just like whatever, just you're throw buying all the stuff. money at it. Or just mm-hmm. wanting a place to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. It would be a great time to sell a house, not so much I to know. buy a house. I wish I had a house to sell. You think so? I wish I could, could make money off of a house to sell. So because what you could do is you could sell the house and then you could just hold on to the money and if, until it calms down. Uh-huh. Because it will. Mm-hmm. That, won't it? I think so. I mean, I think so. Is anything going to calm down? <sighs> That doesn't matter. That's not what we're going to talk about. <laughs> so <laughs> we got all topical. <laughs> Who are we? Just markets. I'm just it. thinking about because that is your that is your bag. That is what you do. You're going to be a, you, you know, you're going to focus on certain things. And real estate's been your jam lately. It's been it's really fun. So I did one over the weekend, and uh, I was editing it yesterday, and I was like, this is this is fun. Nice. Uh, um, and then I had a meeting today for another realtor to do. Um, the commercials for them. And it's a lot of fun just kind of like doing the uh, get to know you session. Like, okay, what kind of video are we talking about? What are we doing? Like, right. those are always fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of the niche that we're going for in Vegas. Can we talk about the unusual problem that you're running into that we were talking about before the show? Or is that is that off topic? Sorry, I got short-term memory. I got the goldfish memory. What were we talking about? You put something on book face and now you've got a problem. <laughs> yeah, we had talked before. about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Tell the people. So I uh, made it a Facebook official that we're moving. Facebook official. Mm-hmm. And um, lately, the last few, last week and a half since it's been live, mm-hmm. uh, I've been getting a lot of, oh, before you go, can we do this? Or have you left yet? Can we get this extra video? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is great. Yeah, nine out of ten of those are me. <laughs> <laughs> at least at least two of those at least videos two. are yours. At least two of those are mine. Uh, Although we talked about it. That was that was before. That was on the books. Yeah, but it's yeah. kind of, I, I understand the whole, uh, the furniture store going out of uh, business sale. A scarcity ploy. Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so I think every six months I'm gonna just lie. Just <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Or yes. or be somebody that is in two places. Yeah. Or you know you see people, videographers and photographers saying, "Hey, I'm in town for a week. Book your dates now." Yeah, a friend of mine who um, does photography um, just went to the East Coast for uh, wedding season. Oh wow! And so going back and forth between Montana on the odd and off seasons. Can do it. That that actually kind of makes sense to yeah. do something like that. It's not bad. Either. And then have the okay. I'm leaving for six months. Uh, if you need, any, oh, I gotta get them now. You need any content? I gotta that. do. I gotta. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just been funny. I think some of it's coincidental, but part of it just like bef- I've gotten. A few I think you scared that people. Like, I think you scared them. Well, before you go, can we can we, can we wrap up this or do this? I think it's great. It's been fun. <laughs> next the next month is no, just gonna. It's not gonna be fun. No sleeping. Uh, yeah. In May. Enjoy that. Uh, packing and editing at the same time. <laughs> right? <laughs> that I'm not looking forward to the packing part. But. I just uh, sent some invites out for our video shoot on Sunday. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we done did it. We got, we're, we're, we're doing it. We done planned it. We planned it. <laughs> we haven't done it yet. <laughs> planned it. Stamped it. <laughs> like, I don't know how good it's going to be. No, it's going to be great. I was writing shot list this morning for Were it. you? Mm-hmm. How'd it feel? Feel good. Mm. Listen to music, drinking coffee. Ooh. Writing sound shots. You felt you just felt it go right through you. <laughs> the, you felt the, the magic. <laughs> the magic. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 
That's Joel Corda tickling my ear balls. <laughs> <laughs> that song, by the way, when I've been playing live, they love that song. Oh, is it? So it's been tested. Well, we t- so we tested it with our market on mm-hmm. the newsletter, and that was the overwhelming winner. Okay. They like the other one, but they, like for a first sing- single. And when I play it at the bars, people start hooting back at me, mm-hmm. which is exciting. Nice. I think I got to hoot in everything now. I think it's got to be my thing. <laughs> You don't think so? No, I think you should do it. Eh. I think you should do it. I think I could try. I think you should do it. I could do whatever, I, you know. <laughs> you do whatever you At least want. one on per album. Well, Here's the one where I'm going to do that thing yeah. that you guys sometimes respond to. Uh, I think Chris Isaac did that a little. He had the, you know, the Wicked Game, and then every song afterwards had to kind of sound like Sound like that. Well, and he's got the vocal gymnastics to do it. It's just, uh, you know. I think he had an AR and R guy in his ear saying, "So, what you're it, how many? Do you, do what you got to do, <laughs> hey buddy. You would, I want you to." Uh, do you think Michael Jackson felt that way too with his his bits? His he <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I think he was just doing it. He's just doing it. I think once you got Michael Jackson size, you were not answering to anybody. That's true. Because I think Good even point. like Quincy Jones would be his advisor, but he'd be couldn't couldn't stop or could. Or was the one, you know, that initially, yeah. I, I guess I don't know. I, I don't, don't know enough about Michael Jackson. Be a documentary on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got plenty of documentaries yeah. going, but it's not musically based. Nope. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna play that song one more time for you. And that's it. This is the last time. This is the last time that you're going to hear that one on here because, well, it's probably a lie. But for now. For, until, the, until the single. Until we release an actual. When the music video drops, yeah. I don't think they can hear you. I don't think they can hear you, me at all. You walked away from the mic. I did. I had to lean forward to get stuff done. You'll see that if you watch the YouTube. Are you ready? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. too far gone I can make it safe but it takes much more from me than a little bit gonna need a little touch gonna need a little assurance that it won't all be too much Woo! Make sure everybody at this party has a damn good time When it's time to quit When it's time to go Just tap me on the shoulder and you let me know Woo!
Have I had my fun? Have they called the cops, pointed me out as the one? Well, it's all okay. It's all fine. Never been too good on your side of this line. Yeah, I like that too. So yeah, we got ourselves planned. We planned it up. We, we got a location. Location, possible. Uh, possible people. Like possible I just got bodies. texted about one of them. We'll see. We'll see. We're trying to get some people. We have at least one actress. Mm-hmm. Oh. Brooke. Yeah. And uh, maybe Allie. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed if she's not at the cabin like a slacker. <laughs> she's not a slacker. And I would go to the cabin too. I just don't think she knows what she's doing. It's her birthday today. It is. Oh, happy birthday, Ali. That's right. That's right. And when you hear this in 10 months, when it's on the, uh, well, 10 weeks, I guess. <laughs> ten, ten, when ten, this months, is on, oh my God. 10 months is like, whoa, oh, that's not quite the release schedule I was hoping for. <laughs> in 10 weeks. <laughs> so post us doing the video show, you and I were hanging out for a little bit and having a conversation. And I was telling you that I have been having crazy days that I just have been feeling un, uneasy. And unbalanced, and I was telling you the, you know, the kind of the whys of it. You know, I just got out of Holy Week and Easter, and and that season just messes with me for a number of reasons. Um, you killed a man about you killed, seventeen times. Killed Jesus a few times, and then we kind of say, "All right, you're back," and then send us on our way. <laughs> and we're so exhausted by then, it's kind of hard to enjoy. And that's just one of the many reasons. But I don't know if it's a seasonal change or. You know, I know we have family history that's rough at this time of year, and just growing up, that, that that's just always kind of in the backdrop. But there's a little bit of the manic with my depressive sometimes, and uh, I was definitely feeling it. And then you were telling me kind of about your stuff. Um, so, yeah, why don't you tell them about what you were, you were sharing with your part because I just said manic depressive. I, I'm not diagnosed. I'm just assuming that that was part. Yeah. Definitely felt the spinning out manic part of, <laughs> of that equation, if if that's what it actually is. Yeah, I uh, from a young age I was diagnosed with ADHD, or at that point it was ADD. I guess now it's all lumped under together. You got the AD and the HD. Yeah, the AD and the HD. You think you would have been ADHD diagnosed back? D- Back then, yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it's basically the same thing. The only thing that I don't really have is, like, that crazy hyperactive, mm. but I guess that's not even really... There's a lot of push against the actual title of ADHD because it's not an attention deficit. Like, we're not lacking attention. It's just it's hard for us to focus on one thing. Like, our attention Your is attention. everywhere, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, so, anyways... That that makes it difficult when um, I'm self-employed. And yeah, when you have all these people that actually want <laughs> you to do things. And, <laughs> yep, and, you know, to me, it's kind of a double-edged sword where you got to be creative and you got to focus on your own, with your own discipline, because creativity doesn't always strike. You always You don't always feel creative. And then for me, it's also like I've got to, you know, wrestle with my own attention and mm. focus and like get that to sit in the chair, do that. And then hopefully the creativity bug comes along too. Uh, so that's always been a struggle that I have found when I'm working from home and, you know, set up my own schedule. It's a bit more um, difficult with the discipline side to try to be like, okay, this is from this time to this time I am doing this rather than, you know, when I was working, I had to be wor- at work at, this time and I couldn't get off until this time or until the work was done. Right. And so now it's like, Oh yeah, you know, there's other things to do or, um, equipment to go through or learn or whatever. It's like, so it's like trying to stay focused on one thing is, is the, is a constant it's a, it's a little beast. Well, there's also that idea too, that you don't want to chase the thing all the time. Like 
you'd like it to come find you. Yeah. I know that sounds weird, but um, as somebody that's been sitting in the chair at, at regular times during the week, just to kind of try to train that it's been working well, but then it sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And when it doesn't, boy, I sure don't, I don't do well. I spin out pretty good or it's what I want to blame or I can't sit in the chair and I can't do the things or something's distracting me because, you know, it just means I'm off balance. It means I'm uneven. And, uh, I think I'm mostly out of it now. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. You know, I've been doing some, uh, back to the gym good i've hired a trainer yay sure i'm gonna be swole <laughs> and uh <laughs> no i just think it's good i think it's an accountability thing and i loved when i was going to the gym and the hospital beat the crap out of me mm-hmm. and it's taken me a long time to actually admit it that that third time every time i would go in i would get right back to the gym right back to the gym as soon as they said i could i'd be there but it was like starting all over and this last time i just it was really just beat up and uh i'm not it's not a poor me thing because at the same time the third time i got out i was like i'm i'm writing i sat down and i said i'm writing two songs today for the christmas single you know the the ep that i put out Mm -hmm. and i did i can do that i have that ability now which i wouldn't have before so i you know trying to explain or understand exactly how that stuff works Sometimes I can will it into being. Other times I have to just wait. I know that I've gotten more consistent. I remember that, uh, you know, Nadine has seen me write different different things, different uh, like screenplays. She's seen me write songs. But it used to be just fits and spurts where I'd, it'd just be like, I'm not doing anything, I'm not doing anything, I'm not doing anything. And fit, like one time it was 50 pages in a night. Oh, wow. Which is ridiculous. Yeah. I could have probably put you know done that over a week and, and felt a little less crazy <laughs> <laughs> just going out I mean it sounds man. it sounds real great but I mean clearly it was kind of working on me the whole time and if I would have released the valve a little bit I think it would have come that way and it's also interesting because you and I work differently and sure. every artist I know works differently oh there's there's no way to there's no way to really you know and as as the season changes even I think I'm going to be working differently Oh, that season changes. I have different habits for every season. Do you? When it comes for creative. And I can't tell you anything, but I know that I, like wintertime, I know for sure I don't mind the whole darkness writing in my office kind of thing. No. Because uh, what else am I going to do? Right. Um, And at least I'm offsetting my seasonal depression with, oh, I'm doing something. Yes. Um, Kind of same thing with like a rainy day. It's like, well, there's nothing else to do. Ooh. And, you know, <laughs> make that coffee, make that tea, write that those pages or anything. are you always writing with coffee uh coffee or tea see i think i'm addicted now yeah i think i gotta get off of that a little bit yeah it's it's you know i didn't drink coffee until my 40s and then <laughs> and now it's just like well this is <laughs> i don't know why i'm so jittery though i don't know what's going on i don't know why i'm talking this fast nanny nanny and what's going on why am i talking this fast i, I only have one cup though really mm-hmm. you just make a perfect cup and then just one cup. That's kind of what I've been thinking about doing. Yeah. Although Saturday is the big day, you know, the big day for writing and getting stuff done. Maybe what I do is a lot less during the week, and then I just 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 <laughs> mm, streamline that just, son of a just <laughs> IV it on just, Saturday. I'm just rocket fuel <laughs> waiting to happen. So when you're when you're doing your <laughs> your writing and you're trying to you know do it as a uh, Instead of doing the spurts and mm-hmm. the fits and trying to do it consistently, do the rituals help you? Yeah. 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 I, it, maybe it gets superstitious sometimes, but I, I try to not do that. I find that if I just get in the chair and if I'm sitting in that chair, I'm working on something. Mm-hmm. I'm writing something. And Saturdays seem to be great because it's, it's kind of ready to go. I haven't, I've had a lot, I think I told you about it, where I'll wake up and there's stuff talking in my head. They're already working because they know that it's their day. Yeah. And it doesn't mean I don't write other days. It just, that's the time that I really set aside a huge chunk of time, you know, because everything, I, (laughs) working at Catholic churches for the last 18 plus years, 16 of those years, actually 18 of those years before that, I, until this year, I should say, I worked Saturday and Sunday. 
and it's not like it was the whole day, but I had places to be. There's no day off. There was no day off. And now Saturday is free. That's got to feel awesome. feels incredible. And I filled it with something that I wanted to fill it with. You know, and it's not just that I write all day. It's not that. There's an X amount of time, and then then I'm making time for my family, and I'm doing stuff that I just want to do. Mm-hmm. And if, I'm, if it's a great day, I don't even get in my car. You know, I'm just here. That's great. If I see friends, I see friends. But I'm just doing the stuff that I want to do, which is, I don't know. It's, it, it has filled me with a lot of joy. It's been great. That's great to hear. Yeah. I like that. That's uh, inspirational for someone who uh, struggles to find that balance still of being creative with a schedule that's like always shifting. I don't have that car, the time carved out. And I, I'm doubtful that it, even if I did have that time carved out, like it's Saturday morning, I've got this time to myself. Right. That I would, you know, that's do what it. you do. Yeah. It's but so you also made your job your job, your passion your job. <laughs> my job, my job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I remember when you were working other jobs, and very specifically Monday and Wednesday were for editing. Yep. And that seemed to be the start of you being able to do this. Is that, am I being yep. presumptuous? Yeah, no, no, that's that's exactly it. I but think it was tough. It was tough at first, I remember <sighs> that. But that, I think, gave you the... Saying what I think I saw, uh-huh. I think that gave you the wherewithal to know that you could do it, and that then you would, when you quit those jobs, you knew you had the discipline to make it happen. Oh, I still question my discipline. <laughs> well, yeah, every, every day, every day, day. Um, <laughs> like this past week has been difficult. Um, I've been averaging, I've been averaging. I have been doing a video a day. Nice. I've got, which is nice, but I've got a lot of videos on the. On the knock um, it, yeah, and it's like, oh, okay, you wake up, and um, I think a lot of ADHD people have this issue with uh, balancing or budgeting their time, or like looking at something and being like, oh, I can, I can get four of these videos done today when you can only get one, maybe two, maybe one and a half. Um, and it's kind of a depressing thing to be like, okay, I'm gonna get so much done, and then, and then six you don't. other things happen, and then but you finish that one video, and that feels good, but you're like, oh, okay, so a week from now, I might be caught up. But then a week from now, I might also have three. How many are in the dock here right now? How many? Are, how many are in the line? Well, I counted. I counted. I think I actually do have seven oh. that are right now. Um, and they're oh. they're varying de- degrees of size and um, importance right now. Some are creative things, but others are uh, projects that I need to get finished asap. And I've got a few more coming down the tube. It sounds like so. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and being. Um, ADHD. I've learned a lot actually recently. There's a fantastic YouTube channel called How to ADHD. So you're telling me about that. Oh, it has been amazing to hear some of these things that I have been struggling with all my life that I thought was just me being weird or <laughs> broken in some sense, but it's actually linked to my ADHD that I didn't even know. And having those connections was like, oh my god, like <laughs> somebody else having the same. It was problem. such a huge relief. I'd be like, cool. okay, this isn't because I'm terrible or stupid <laughs> or whatever. It's because, okay, there's there's something that's, that I function differently than the way the society is built, and that's okay. I just got to kind of figure out my workarounds. Um, Did you ever actually have anybody in your life tell you that you were stupid? Yeah, I think so. I, I, really? Yeah. Yeah, I have had that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I've had a couple. Um, yeah, that, that's not a great... It's not. It's What's not. This, were these teachers? No, my teachers are pr- pretty good. I had a couple bad teachers who probably didn't understand what was going on. Um, but being, I, I grew up in a Catholic private school, and the classrooms were pretty small, so the yeah. teachers could Get have a bit more one on one. And I, uh, I think they understood, mm-hmm. even though it was it was in the nineties, and that was just kind of being discovered. And but I think they understood that I was competent enough to understand the material, even though maybe grades or like my, my schoolwork maybe didn't represent that. Sure. Um, the knowledge was there. It was more of like the, the testing sure. and the, uh, the how to do it or how to prove it system didn't work for me because they would, they'd change things up where I would do um, oral tests or something like that instead of written tests. Cause I still have this issue of trying to get what's in my brain onto paper. Sure. 
Um, or like, <laughs> like yeah, no, I mean, I, even reading instructions like how to build something like stresses me out for some reason. Where I can, yeah. I can watch a video and be like, oh, this like just the way I learn and and, and you know, um, soak up information is completely different than what school uh, traditionally the way that is going to happen. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, there was some bullying and stuff like that on certain on certain pieces that definitely left a scar. Um, but it's, uh, it hasn't been like <laughs> the worst. I think there's, um, like I said, there's maybe some like emotional trauma for that, but after doing, after hearing these, these YouTube videos, I'm like, oh, okay. So if there's anybody out there, I highly recommend, uh, how to ADHD on YouTube. Um, the, the host is fantastic at explaining, uh, how your brain works and oh. how to get around these, um, what seem like impossible mountains to climb. I'm I'm glad you found that. Oh, me too. I'm glad you made it too. (laughs) Thanks. I'm glad it happened. Appreciate it. Um, I'm sure we're going to talk about these things more in the future. Yeah. But for now, uh, don't call Ryan. Don't try to contact him. (laughs) That's that's you're too late. (laughs) If you're going to, if you're going to try to go to chimera and it's my films, (laughs) don't do it. Don't do it. You got to wait till (laughs) Vegas. You got to, or, you know, be ready to drop drop some dollars <laughs> to make Ryan Hollis. No, we're still accepting. Um, Oof, don't do it. But it's over. It's over. I think I've got a couple more weeks. It's I think when <laughs> May hits, I'm going to be a little busy with the packing and um, finishing up the, cr- the current projects. But we'll see. Proud of you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, everybody. We'll talk to you later.